Virgo, what will be bringing the two of you together? Uh, Virgo, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, what will be bringing your connection together with this person? Okay, very powerful connection you have. Um, you have soul ties to this person, Virgo. Soul craft is, is about your soul yearning for the other. So this is a deeply spiritual connection that's going to make its way to you. Um, the first of its kind, as indicated by new, the number one, it points to renewals, it points to newness, new emotions and new intensities. But I feel like the two of you will create a very special relationship because soul craft is you as spiritual beings being drawn together. So I wouldn't be surprised if this, in fact, is a twin flame connection because this is where your souls have um, parted ways and yearn to be brought back together in this lifetime, in this body, in, in the person that you are now. So that spiritual side um, is being crafted, is being drawn together between the both of you. And this is something that you could potentially share, uh, which is quite powerful. Um I definitely feel like the two of you are aligning in terms of spiritual paths, your life mission, your life purpose. Somehow I feel like there's a bigger reason as to why you're being drawn. And it's either this person is going to help uncover your life purpose or you're going to help uncover theirs. So that's absolutely fantastic. Um, let's move on and have a look and see at the strengths of your connection potentially, uh, followed by the areas where you may face challenges, Virgo. So um, strengths. Okay, the Hermit with the Justice card. Now, this is you as the Hermit, Virgo, because you represent this fellow. Now, if this is one of your strengths here, then it's your ability to dissect information. It's your ability to analyze. It's your ability to um, solve problems. So problem-solving skills, management, understanding, um, and your ability to read into situations here. So this is the both of you. I mean, it could be you. It could be this person as well. Um, your ability um, to be analytical, to be critical, but in, in a good way. So this is constructive criticism. This will be one of your focal points in the relationship. Definitely one of your strong points for a lot of you watching. Now, let's remember, however, that the Hermit is um, quite an autonomous individual here. So independence, um, your ability to remain independent or be true to yourself, your identity, your wants and needs in a relationship are going to be one of your strengths, vice versa. It's this, um, it's the ability of your mate to be independent, to understand what they want, to still have their sense of self, their sense of identity when the two of you come together in a relationship here. So space might be needed. Um, but the hermit is very, very wise and he's he understands what to do when when problems arise. So it's making judgment calls will be one of your strengths in this connection. If that makes any sense at all, that ability to do that will definitely be one of your strong points. But the hermit it's, is seeking perfection. So there'll be nothing, absolutely nothing wrong in seeking perfection or seeking or molding or creating or even crafting the perfect relationship with this person because they too will be doing the same things. It's coming up as one of your strengths here, Virgo. So that is very, very positive. You also have the Justice card, which can point to judgment calls as well. Um, the Justice card has the scales here. So this is all about mutual agreement, mutual love, mutual understanding, and most importantly, respect. The respect and idolatry you'll have for each other will be very, very good. I almost feel like there'll be people envious looking in on your relationship, Virgo. The fact that the two of you have such a healthy respect and admiration for each other. Uh, the Justice card can also point to, because it's the sign of Libra, it is a sign of partnerships here. Um, so it's your ability to um, move forward in your partnership. And I do feel uh, for a lot of you, um, if you're planning to move in together with this person or undergo milestones in the physical realm, um, that will be one of your strong points here. But the Justice card can point to karmic energy, respect, balance, harmony, and putting your foot down, okay? It can be a little bit of stubbornness because the judge, the justice card can be somewhat intimidating here. But um, it, it's not stubbornness in a bad way. It's standing your ground, standing proud, standing confident, understanding your relationship, being confident and proud about your relationship as well. This will definitely be one of your strong points here, Virgo. So this is really, really positive. Um but definitely something about decision making and problem solving. I feel like when um, a decision needs to be made, the two of you will make it as a as as a, 
as a unit, okay, as a union. Um, you might need time to go away and be independent and think about and analyze and, and compartmentalize whatever it is that you'll need to do. But essentially the, the symbolism here is that the two of you will make very good decisions that will benefit you both, that will satisfy you both as a unit, as a partnership. Um, so that's really good. Let's have a look, however, at obstacles, where you could potentially face obstacles in this relationship. Five of Wands with the Two of Wands. Okay, Five of Wands can be dysfunction, um, competition because of outside influences and or people. There's a large group of people here that are all trying to make it work. So it's either too much inner turmoil or too much opinions that haven't been thought through that intervene in the relationship or it's outside, it's people outside of the relationship that are going to affect the relationship within. Um, it could be difficult for some of you if you meet this person's friends or family members they could prove to be a little bit challenging or the relationships that you form with this person might not be um, with the people around your significant other could be quite complicated. Could also be competition from other secret admirers, exes or other people that wanted to be involved with either this person, your mate or with you Virgo. So you may face a little bit of competition here. Now for some of you it might be competing with an ex, competing with someone that's still interested in your partner, competing or this um, your significant other competing with an ex that's still interested in you. The roles could be reversed, but this is competition that could lead to anger or arguments, okay? Could also be competing for each other's time. So maybe it's um, people that are exterior, but these are either friends, either this person spends too much time with their friends and not enough time with you. Um, there's a... Um, there's no equilibrium here. So it could even be colleagues or work friends or siblings that this person might be diverting a lot of their attention to or vice versa, Virgo. You might be diverting a lot of your attention towards these people and suddenly this creates competition. This creates tensions because the ones is anger, it's conflict and it's opinions and it's just everyone, you know, throwing it out there. And there could be people that disapprove of your relationship. Maybe because they don't feel like this person is right for you. Maybe you'll get a lot of opinions from your friends. Maybe your family will want to weigh in. And suddenly it will all become very heavy. And you might find that the relationship encounters a bit of dysfunction because of these exterior influences. For some of you, there could be obstacles if you're um, in a long distance connection here. Um, foreign um, energies here with the two of ones. So it could be geographical distance. Um, it could be different nationality, different religion, different spiritual orientation, um, different belief systems that could potentially um, pose obstacles, okay, into creating a relationship together. The two of ones is also indecisiveness, but it's also back and forth. It's either indecisiveness from both of you, from one of you, or it's the notion of um, maybe you live further away. As I said, it could definitely point to geographical distance, um, but also differences in uh, like tradition, um, customs, the way you do things. Could also be that one of you wants to pursue wanderlust or relocate or live abroad. Um, it could be a precarious situation. Say, for example, if you're an expat living in a different country and you meet this person and suddenly, you know, you find out that they have to go back to their country in a year or um, they're only here for work or it's a temporary or, you know, time is of the essence here. It could be like a temporary thing. And then suddenly that distance um, changes things for you and for them. So they, that may have something to do with the obstacles you'll potentially face together. I will leave it at that though, Virgo. Just want to say thank you for watching. Um, really do appreciate it.